He's a deceiver. He's disgusting. Now, how many people you think are doing this in Hollywood? How many people are given bio tells with like they're the fucking like best person in the world? Look at Dr. Dre. <laughs> and I hate to say it, people hate me because his connection with Eminem and Easy Mill. But Dr. Dre was a disgusting ass nigga, bro. Like, we're not gonna pretend like Dr. Dre wasn't a fucking foul ass person, bro. This nigga was disgusting. It's not a lie. He he admitted to everything. <laughs> he admitted to everything. He wrote an apology letter. But yeah, Dr. J was living foul too out here in these streets. <laughs> Dr. J was living foul. That nigga's a nasty nigga. The reason why I say that is because he has a movie called Straight Outta Compton. That's supposed to be the biopic of NWA. <laughs> not only did this motherfucker not tell you what he was doing behind the scenes, he erased whole elements of history. Michelle, why was Michelle not in that movie? Anybody got any answers for that? Oh, I'll explain it to you. I'm explaining it right now. I got you. All right. So Michelle was his ex-wife and baby mother, if I'm not mistaken, right? She was a singer, right? She's known for talking in a very high voice. Very, very high, like Mickey Mouse type of shit. But her singing voice is way lower and she has a beautiful singing voice. She was signed to him and she was messing with him. He and I want to make sure I say this in the best way possible on YouTube. Ike turned her on a regular basis. Just because he wanted to. He would come in, he was mad, and Mike Tyson her just, just because he wanted to. He's in the studio, she's singing, she doesn't sing the right note. He goes in there and, and Molly Wops right in front of everyone, in front of Easy, in front of Shook Knight. In fact, as crazy as Shook Knight is, if you watch her biopic and read her book or any details of this, Shook Knight is more described as a hero because in order to escape the abuse that was happening in front of everyone, she drugged herself up and was all fucked up. And Suge Knight came and was like, yo, listen, I'm taking you to rehab. I'm going to clean you up. I'm going to do this. I'm going to pay all your bills. And that's how she got away from Dr. Dre. And then Dr. Dre was afraid of Suge Knight, so he didn't touch her anymore. But before that, he was wilding out. In fact, there was a radio host that said something about Dr. Dre and Dr. Dre beat the crap out of her in front of every fucking body in public. In fact, rappers mention this in their fucking songs on a regular basis. They, they say this. In fact, if you listen to a song with Dr. Dre and Eminem, I think it's called, uh, is it called uh, Choices or something like that? It's the Guilty Conscience Dre. Right? When... Fucking, there's a part where I think Dr. Dre is like, I'm gonna kill you, little. And he starts like, and Eminem is like, ha ha, temper, temper, Mr. A, Mr. NWA, and he starts like saying, Masha, A, K, but in this part, like in certain lines, Eminem says, he says something about somebody named D. Bonds, if I'm not mistaken. D. Bonds was a female radio host that said that she didn't like Dr. Dre or something along those lines, and Dr. Dre beat the crap out of her in front of everyone. In fact, there are interviews and footage of them asking NWA members, yo, y'all was there when he did this? And they was like, bitch should have kept her mouth shut. This is public knowledge. So this is what he was doing in front of people. So imagine what he was doing to his fucking wife behind the scenes who was also signed to his record label. Now, let me ask you again, in the movie Straight Outta Compton, why is his wife um, the one of the first female, in fact, the first female, not even one of the first, the first female artist signed to his record label who had hit singles under the record label with him and Eazy-E. Why is she not in the entire movie? Why did it take for years later when she came out with her movie describing things for Dr. J to come out with a fucking apology letter and say, I'm sorry, I changed, I'm, I'm a different person now. Why is it that multiple rappers put in their lyrics that Dr. Dre's out here doing this to women and no one even says any fucking thing? Like, I swear, I can look it up. Hold on, let me see. I could literally find songs and segments of Eminem talking about it. Eminem. And I might have got the person's name wrong. Is it D. Bonds? D. Ah, oh, man. D. Burns? D. Bonds? Give me two seconds. Nigga, my hip hop history knowledge is crazy. Watch this. Doctor. Yeah, I might have got the person's name wrong, but everything else I said is extremely accurate. Dr. Dre, slap. Oh, woman. Host. Do, 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 do. What is her name? Here you go. Here's a D Barnes. I was right. Wow. Wow. Yeah, I was, I was extremely accurate. D Barnes. This is her. And she used to always be around NWA. I was encounter Barnes at a record release party in Hollywood in 1991. According to Barnes, he picked her up by her hair and began slamming her head on the right side of her body repeatedly against a brick wall near the staircase. 
as the bodyguard held off the crowd in this footage of NWA members not only saying that, yes, this did happen, but agreeing with him and saying that bitch should have kept her mouth shut. This is them saying this disgusting shit. So, yes, Dr. Dre, hit maker, disgusting ass nigga, and no one ever cared. They buried that shit. Look at what they've been burying with, with P. Diddy for years, nigga. Hollywood and the music industry is fucking disgusting. This is disgusting. I remember Easy talking about Dr. Dre hitting. Yo, this is he. Yeah, that's this is a fact. This is just not. I'm not making this up. I wouldn't say that. This is me. Y'all know me. How cautious I am. If I get canceled for saying this, it's because they didn't want to hear the truth. This is facts. He admitted to this. Multiple witnesses. I think he had to pay this woman money, nigga. I could hold on. Let's see. In my, this is me saying this off of memory of just me being a hip hop head. If I look it up, somebody for sure did a fucking documentary about this shit on YouTube. Had to. Dr. Dre D. Barnes. But I remember Eminem said a line. What song is that? What song is it? Eminem. I think it was the fucking Guilty Conscience, right? D. Barnes. Guilty Conscience. Yep, I knew I wasn't. Yo, nigga, I, I gotta stop questioning myself. My music knowledge is up there, nigga. Hold on. What's the exact line? Uh, the, 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 the search D Barnes. It said, uh, the, 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 shady. Maybe he's right, Grady. But think about the baby before you get all crazy. Okay, thought about it. Still want to stab her, grab her by her throat, get the daughter in, blah, 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 can help her. That's what I did. Be smart. Don't be a retard. You're going to take advice from somebody to slap D Barnes. What you say? What's wrong? Didn't think I remember. I'm going to kill you, mother. Aha, uh -huh. temper, temper, Mr. Dre, Mr. NWA. AK. Yo, fam, I remember that shit, nigga. Line for line. I remember that. And no one even... Eminem does a fucking song with Dr. Dre and tells you on the song that Dr. Dre beat woman and no one said shit. The fuck is... Nigga, the music industry is disgusting, bro. Nigga, what? If they cancel me for saying this shit, nigga, nigga, this is reality, bro. This is, nigga, I'm telling you, bro, I can edit this whole segment right now and turn it into a video essay. And this is ain't even no script. This is me just off of memory, bro. I'm giving you the facts. I'm, I'm surgical with this shit. All right, hold on. Let's see. Somebody had to fucking have a clip. Look at this clip. This is the NWA people talking about it. August. Till then, doctors have ordered Robinson to do nothing but get complete rest. Oh, shit. That's crazy, bro. And try to eat. Hold on. It's taking a second to load. I hate when YouTube does this. I probably got to lower the quality, even though it's already in a low damn quality. I right, eat as hearty as he can. In Los Angeles, D. Barnes, host of the Fox TV rap show Pump It Up, is filing a civil suit against Dr. Dre of the hardcore rap group NWA. Barnes seeks damages over $10 million and claims that last January at an L.A. club, Dre assaulted her, grabbing her hair, slamming her face and body into a wall, and kicking her in the ribs. Barnes' attorneys say that Dre was apparently upset that one of Barnes' producers inserted her interview with NWA member Ice Cube into a Pump It Up show last Last winter featuring NWA. The group and Ice Cube have become mortal enemies since he left NWA two years ago. NWA Look, and mind you, is, and mind you, it was because she showed Ice Cube love. This is somebody he later on squashed the beef and did a whole fucking film with. But because this woman who was a rating host was a part of media, the same way you see when I talk about some of these rappers, they get mad and when they start spreading rumors and all. Same way. She was in the media. All she did was interview or sh give someone a segment. And this is what he did to retaliate. That's the type of energy Dr. J used to be on. Is he the same person? I don't know. But, Nate, he even wrote an apology letter, bro, like for acting this way back then. Norman Winter says, quote, I know Dr. Dre as a gentle soul, the loving father of a baby boy. I can't imagine him treating any lady in anything but a gentlemanly. I said, what Diddy did? See, y'all watch my videos. I just did a whole video essay about P. Diddy and all the nasty stuff that's going on with him. Check that out. It's on my main channel. Check that out after the stream whenever you can. Fashion. No comment from NWA's record oh, label, but here's what NWA themselves had to say about the incident back in March. 
That's what she get. I hope she get it again. She got big Yo, time. my fucking memory, bro. I swear, but when it comes to certain types of knowledge, it's just in here. It's just in here, bro. How did I remember that? I have not talked about or seen this situation in years since I was like a kid. How did I remember this? The host of that show did something. She knows. You see that? That's what she get. The, this is look at these three fucking men. These punk ass bitch. She didn't attack them. This wasn't in self defense. This is because she just included a clip from Ice Cube in my. Shortly after this, Dr. Dre left NWA. So what do you, bro? I'm telling you, man, you can't make this up. But she did and got beat I'm down. Searching. I hope it happened again. See you around, buddy boy. I hope it happens again. Huh? What she do that? What, that, what did she do? What did she do that created the situation? I hope it happens again. He says. Scum buckets. I made it that bad. I'll try to make us look stupid. <laughs> Tried to play it. Is that national TV? Tried to play it. National TV. Tried to. And this, they were okay with what he did to Michelle, who was his wife at the time. They were perfect because look, they they were okay when he did it regularly. They was like, yeah, I hope it happens again. That what? What type of man? He, he's even around. Like that's great. I couldn't. I could, bro. I've been in scenarios where I had to grab a dude. Like yo, 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 you wilding, bro. Fuck, calm your ass down. Nah, then go for a walk or something, bro. Nah, that's the wrong move. Players in front of millions of people. <laughs> that's not over yet. B. Barnes's lawyers say they're obtaining a restraining order against Dre, who they claim has continued to threaten Barnes, and that their civil Shh. suit charges him with a... Nigga, they just did it on TV. <laughs> she should sue them, too. She should have sued them. They just did it again on national television. They just threatened her one more time. Assault and battery, inflicting... Yeah, nigga, they... Dre was a filthy, filthy man, bro. I know a lot of Easy Mail fans are going to be mad at me because I'm saying this, but nigga, Dr. Dre was filthy, bro. Like, this nigga was, he was not, like, not what, what people think. Just because his music was amazing? No, 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 no. He did Michelle A dirty. Watch that movie, bro. That, that was actually an interesting movie, um, especially when the details were confirmed after the fact, too, because he did an apology. Let me see. Maybe they got that, too. Apology. Uh, okay, he apologizes to D. Barnes. Let's see if that one. Uh, let's see this one. Him apologizing to the woman he did this to. So, BX ain't making this up. Bro, like, off of memory. Let's see if they got this. The music industry is disgusting. I've been telling y'all. Hello, everyone. Hi, you welcome doing? to, so you to get Impress to Channel. Dr. Yeah, this is when she first started. I could tell because the audio. About his and she's definitely like a huge YouTuber now. But shout outs to her, man. Wow. Impressive. No pun intended. Towards D. Barnes way back in the 90s. Any man that puts his hands on a female is a fucking idiot. He's out of his fucking mind. I was out of my fucking mind at the time. I paid for it. I'm sorry for it. Now, if you don't know the backstory, D. Barnes was a journalist. I'm not lying. See, I, yo, BX keeps it real. You say, I know I can get the truth over here. That's facts. No matter how people judge me or hate me for it, I'm always going to tell the truth. Yeah, he did this. In the 90s. Look, and he just apologized for it. Let me see if they got like maybe another clip. Yeah, he was wild, bro. And Dr. Dre beat her up. Just because she did this segment because she talked to Ice Cube. <laughs> Crazy. And they was like, yeah, did not- she get it again? See, I remember this whole thing. Hearing injuries from what happened. Migraine. Major, major migraine. It's always on the same side, you know, the side of my head. To this day. To this day. 24 years later. 24 years later. Disgusting. Dr. Dre didn't only abuse Dee Barnes, but he abused many women he was in. Michelle A. Yo, I'm, t- I'm like an encyclopedia for hip hop knowledge, bro. I remember everything they're saying. I could have did a damn video essay. Baldwin, including Michelle. Oh and I, I've talked before, you know, on in radio days about um, Dre and putting his hands on not just you, but remember that old VJ, D Barnes? Well, I stayed because it was normal. Well, after the first hit, you, you, you don't think they're going to do it again. And it, it, it does escalate. Dr. Dre also opened up some more. I feel so bad, bro. Like, that's crazy. I don't know if the voice makes me feel even worse, um, but 
Yeah, nah, he's he's disgusting. And the music industry knew this. They promoted it. This is before Beats by Dre. He was before when he was given Beats by Dre. This is before aftermath. Think of this is before aftermath. Think about that. This is before California love, nigga. Like, was that aftermath? I think that was towards the end. I think it was before. It might have been before. Don't call me on that. Don't call me on that. But it was definitely before Eminem. It was before a lot of Dr. Dre's aftermath things. But yeah, it's crazy. Her voice is weird. I think it's adorable. <laughs> she talks in her, her head voice, the highest voice that you can go. So when she sing, nigga, you wouldn't even think that was her. you would be like, whoa. There's a, a new girl that, I forgot her name, but there's like a new R&B singer like that. That somebody sent me a clip and it was her talking and then she started singing. And I was like, whoa. She was like, Michelle. If you look at the whole comment section, people's like, oh, this is the new Miss Chalet. I was like, a lot of people don't even know who she is. Her music was actually dope. She had some really good songs. It's just that she went through hell, literally, being with Dr. Dre. And then from Dr. Dre to Suge Knight, it's just hell, bro. Hell. Craziness. And Easy E was trying to hook up with her, too. In this documentary, and he said this. Back then, a lot of people trying to hook up with her. She was bad. A lot of stupid things in my life. A lot of things that I wish I can go and take back. I've experienced abuse. I've watched my mother get abused, you know? So it's like there's absolutely no excuse for it. No woman should ever be treated that That's uh, like Harley. Yeah, she, she talks in a certain voice too, as well. There's a lot of similarities in the sound of the voice here. That way. I have a dark cloud that I've said that before. Me, and it's going to be attached to me forever. It's a major blemish on who I am as a man. And every time it comes up. It Look at this shit. I knew I remember reading this letter. Yes. He wrote the. Didn't I say that? He wrote like a letter. And in the letter, he apologizes for it. He, I want to hear that from the beginning. I have a dark cloud that follows me. And it's going to be attached to me forever. It's a major blemish on who I am as a man. And every time it comes up. It just makes me feel effed up. So it's just like, what do I do? What do I do to get rid of this dark cloud? I don't know what else to do. I'm learning. I'm trying to become a better person, a better man. In the end, I've heard people that I care about. And for that, I'm really sorry. To probably stay your ass out the public light. That, that's probably step one. Step two would be some type of retribution to the people that you harmed. Um, you definitely need help. Because I'm telling you, if you watch Survivor in Compton, the, it may no no sense. Like the, the type of stuff he was doing, like he would be in the bed crying, drunk. And of course, his wife would be like, oh my God, my husband. And she'll go, Michelle would go and try to like soothe him, like, yo, you okay? And he would just turn into Mike Tyson. Like, and it was like brutal, like super brutal. Like he was wild. And he knows he was, right? So I ain't gonna try to keep like going in on him, but that's the least. The nigga, the way you was going in, right? But Look, bro, like he even admitted he knows he was living foul. So much so to years later, the rappers that he signed can joke about it in his, which is why. And then I remember vividly when he said that, like he did D Bonds and Dr. J grabs his collar in the music video and starts saying, I'm going to kill you. you. And he's like, ah, temper, temper, Mr. Dre, Mr. NWA, AK. I remember that shit vividly. And I, that's what probably made me look into it years ago, right? When that song came out. Like, who's D Bonds? And I remember, and I was like, oh, didn't she have like a show? And so looking into it, like, this is public knowledge. Then I saw the clips. And back then, you didn't have the internet, so you couldn't really go. I had to like really dig. I was one of those guys that would dig for hip hop and just music knowledge, bro. Right? I'm the booklet guy. You put out an album booklet, I'm reading it. You put out a book, I'm reading it. All right? I want to know all of that. I want to hear the discussions, all the details. So yeah, and he ain't the only one. Dr. Dre, Biggie Smalls. P. Diddy, which I just did a long video. I did a video essay, guys, describing a lot of the stuff Diddy did. And mind you, after I released that video essay, like less than a few hours later, he settled out of court and paid this girl 50 million to keep her mouth shut. He didn't want Discovery coming out. I wonder why. Oh, wait, one of his executives just got, just got exposed recently for allegedly the same things that he did to Cassie. Is that a coincidence that somebody that was one of his head executives, Harvey, if I'm not mistaken, who he went to college with, is now having the same things be brought out against him that Cassie brought out against Diddy that he had to pay 50 million so people wouldn't talk about it? 
if I disappear, you know why? Because I ain't going to shut my mouth. Like the music industry is disgusting. Hollywood is disgusting. And more that I'm not going to say right now. But yes, P. Diddy, Biggie Smalls, big pun. Oh my gosh. And I knew his daughter. Big pun was filthy, nigga. One of the best rappers that ever existed. Disgusting. Right? Disgusting. You got to separate the art from the artist, bro. Big pun was filthy. All of these things that I'm saying, everyone I just named has similar things that they did. Straight up. It's just it's nasty. The industry is disgusting, bro. Right? And then whenever you speak out, they cancel you. Imagine, yo, all this stuff, bro. I'm so, and I can sit here for hours, nigga. Don't get me started on Jay-Z. Don't get me started on Jay-Z, bro. 